A new major ChatGPT update now lets the AI see things, and it has literally made studying feel like cheating. You can now take any picture, upload it, and ask the AI any questions about it. So in this video, we're going to go over 10 prompts that we can now use with this new and improved version of ChatGPT to give your studying a major upgrade. So first things first, when I am reading a textbook, currently this learning and memory one, I will go through a page or section, take a picture of it, and then ask ChatGPT to summarize it. After it gives me the summary, I will break out my trusty iPad, read the summary, and then try and write down everything that I remember from the summary that ChatGPT gave me. This is a powerful study method called active recall, where you take information that you just learned and then try and actively retrieve it without looking at your textbook. And yes, you should be using it. Then after writing the summary out, I will take a picture of that, send it to ChatGPT, and ask it to write in bullet point form all of the information that I missed. So next time that I sit down to study, I know what information to focus on. The next prompt I use is asking ChatGPT to point out the most important information to know in a page or section of a textbook. A lot of what I'm reading is extra information or fluff that I don't necessarily need to memorize. So I simply ask ChatGPT to point out the most important information to know and then focus my notes around its response. Next up is asking ChatGPT to explain a diagram in simple terms or as if I were a five-year-old or literally any age that I want to give it. If I still don't get it after that, I simply ask it to dumb it down even more. Or if I am really struggling, I ask it to provide an analogy on the diagram to hopefully finally help me understand. And then after doing that, I asked ChatGPT to give me a couple of questions on the diagram to answer to help reinforce understanding. Okay, so on top of asking ChatGPT to simplify a diagram, another prompt I can use is actually asking it to come up with a mnemonic device to help me remember the diagram. It's a pretty simple prompt, but very, very useful. Okay, so when I am ready to sit down and hate myself, aka remember the material that I have just learned, I asked ChatGPT to create active recall questions based off a page or section that I have just read in my textbook. I also like to add a limit each question to one paragraph and pull out the main idea for the question. You can ask ChatGPT to give you the answers, but I prefer to just get the questions and then refer back to my textbook to see if I got it right. Okay, so the next prompt I thought was pretty interesting and could be used as a guide, but I think for the most part should actually be done by yourself. So the prompt is asking ChatGPT to use the Cornell Notes system for a page or section in textbook. Cornell Notes are a note-taking system that is designed to help you better remember study material compared to more traditional note-taking methods. You divide the page up into three sections, your notes on the right, a Q area on the left, and a summary on the bottom. I also like to say limit each bullet point for the note-taking section per paragraph and keep the notes clear and concise as that is how the system is designed to work. After ChatGPT spits out its answer, I can then read through the notes and generate a summary myself at the bottom of the page. After that is done, I can simply take a piece of paper, cover up the right hand side and ask the questions or points that are written in the Q area. And just like that, I have created a pretty kick-ass system for reviewing my notes. The next prompt that we can use is super great for remembering information. This simply involves asking ChatGPT to create flashcards in a table format. Also, I did just want to add, if you want ChatGPT to include the definitions, you need to ask it to include the definitions based off of its own understanding of the key terms. This is super easy to do in my textbook, as at the end of each chapter, there is a keyword section. So I can literally just snap a pic of that section and tell ChatGPT to create flashcards 
in a table format and then include the definition for each keyword. If you don't have a keyword section like this at the end of your textbook, you could technically take a picture of each page and tell ChatGPT to pull out the key terms that are probably bolded. But to be honest, this is extremely tedious, time consuming, so I recommend just getting textbooks that don't suck. Up next for prompt number eight is getting ChatGPT to create a test based off of a textbook page or section. I always like to use this prompt after immediately reading a section in my textbook to practice active recall and strengthen my memory. I always tell ChatGPT to include both multiple choice and long form questions and then tell it to give me the answers after I respond. For prompt number nine, I simply say, I don't understand, can you explain this? I find this especially helpful when I am reading my philosophy textbook and a paragraph just sounds like complete gibberish. I'll just snap a quick pic, send it out to my homeboy and get a clarifying answer on what the fuck I just read. And last but not least, for prompt number 10, I say, what the fuck? is this. You can apply this to literally anything. If you're out and about touching grass and you see something that you don't recognize, you can take a picture, send it to ChatGPT, and ask what it is. This can be plants, trees, bugs, or literally ineligible graffiti text. And obviously, this can also be applied to your studies. You can take a picture of a person, a place, a diagram, equation, whatever. Ask ChatGPT what it is and the all-knowing AI will answer and explain. And yeah, that's basically it. If you got value out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. The algorithm loves that shit. And also, if you want to learn more about learning, then consider signing up to my newsletter, Brain Pill. Link will be in the description where every Friday I will be sending out a learning tip, hack, or whatever that I have come across in my own learning journey to help you out in yours. I will see you in the next video. Adios.